The risk factors involved with addiction really affect the nature of the disease. So we know that addiction is a biological, a psychological, and a social disease. From a biological standpoint, the risks involve whether or not addiction runs in your family. So if you have addiction in your family tree, in the line of your family, then you're at a much higher risk of developing an addiction yourself. Also, if you suffer from anxiety or depression, or if you've had trauma in your life, you're at a much higher rate of risk of developing an addiction. The third thing is the social aspect of it, so that basically if you grew up in a family where alcohol was used to manage uncomfortable emotions, if dad came home from work and poured himself a drink at the end of the day to manage stress, then you learn that alcohol is a way that you manage uncomfortable emotions. Also, if you grew up in a society and a culture that alcohol was used freely, then you're at a much higher risk for developing an addiction yourself. So again, the three risk factors involve the biological, the psychological, and the social aspects of the disease.